Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Ingrid Maria. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to show you how to prevent frizzy roots and curly ends. Like how can we make sure it's as late as possible? Um, today I'll be using Uncle Funky's Daughter Curly Magic. And I'll leave all the descriptions of the products below in the description below. And also Innersense I Create Whole Gel. And also I'm going to top it off with extreme wet line so we have three gels in one to make sure that this is going to hold now i have already washed and prepped my hair i did a protein treatment using this product if you want to know the details of how i did it and how it turned out be sure to click on the icon right here i'll give you step by steps all right let's go ahead and get into it i am going to zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit better just gonna cut it here so first tip is to make sure you use smaller sections all right we're gonna go ahead and make sure the hair is saturated this is warm to hot water all right now, like i said i do have that leave-in conditioner already in there so that helps i'm then going to go in with my uncle funkies all right that out now the key when you're putting it in, you are going to make sure you are getting your roots. Okay, not just your curls, you're going to make sure you're getting your roots. So I'll put some on the tip of my fingers. I'm going to make sure I'm getting the root of my hair. All right. The root of my hair. And then rake it down. And then I'm going to use the praying hands method. As you can see, the curls are already curling pretty well. Next, I'm gonna go in with my incense. All right. Okay. Then I'm gonna, again, go to the root of my hair and rake it down. The root, rake it down, praying hands method. Okay. So y'all can see. For the last gel, I'm only going to put a little bit of extreme wet line, just a little bit, but I'm only going to put it on the root. All right. So just like that. I'm just going to put it on the root here. Just a little bit. I'll probably even put too much. And then making sure that it's holding a little bit more incense. As you can see, the curls are pretty defined here, but our problem is that we want to make sure our roots are flat as well. So we're just going to not touch it. We have our gel that's there that's going to concrete this, and we're going to move on to the next section, trying not to touch this section that we have already done. And the reason why I'm going so detailed in this, I want to make sure that like you, you understand how to do this correctly. So anyway, we're just going to part it. The reason why I'm parting it, it helps me when I'm applying oil to my hair, if I'm being honest, um, and it helps me, you know, just section it off and making sure that it's neat. So this section is too big for me, so I'm just going to part that. All right. Again, the same thing. Move some of this excess hair out the way. The same thing. Add your water. All right. Now, if you didn't already add the leave-in conditioner, be sure to add that leave-in conditioner. But like I said, I already added mine, so we are good to go. All right, we're gonna go in with Uncle Funky's. Starting at the root here. Make sure we're getting that root, all right? And go in, get some more, put it at the end here. Making sure we're getting that root and pulling it down. Moving this section a little bit, all right? I'm gonna rake it. I'm just gonna smooth it out some more. All right. I'm gonna go back in with the incense. Again, hitting that root area. Going at the ends. So look like this. All right, now we're going to top it off with a little bit of the extreme. 
just to be here. As you can see, while I'm at the room, kind of smoothing it even more forcefully. Forcefully isn't the best word, but smoothing it, you know, a little more concentrated uh, when I'm at the root of it, okay? I'm hoping that y'all can see this because my hair is black. <laughs> so it may be hard for y'all to see it, but it is flat, all right? I'm going to continue this process. If you have the concept and you understand it and you want to click off the video, by all means, do what you got to do. Um, I hope this video helped. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Peace. But if you want to uh, continue to watch this video to see it all the way through to see how the end result is, um, seeing me uh, diffuse it and everything like that, um, be sure to stay and watch the video. So yeah, let's go. But if you're still here, your hair should look something like this or along the lines. You see how it's you see how it looks very crisp and clean and neat and they all look together and clump together. It's beautiful, really. It's, it's, it's really, it's really godsend if we really want to talk about it. Um, but it's just so bouncy and it's so defined. It's because we took our time, we did it properly and making sure that it's as flat as possible. Now, when you are doing this, try to make sure that you, I don't want to say move quickly, but I'm taking a long time because I'm recording, but it does take a long time to do this. But just keep in mind that you do need to diffuse this. And even though this is like holding everything together, you still need to diffuse it. You still need to sit under a hooded dryer. So just don't spend all day doing it. Take your time, but don't spend all day doing it because you do still have to put a little bit of heat to it to make sure that it is, you know, staying in place. But I'm going to go ahead and keep going. Um, and yeah, I'm excited because it looks really, really good. So. All right, y'all, this is it. This is what it's looking like. Now, obviously this side is gonna be more flat than this side because I did this side first. So to make sure that it is flat, I'm going to take some incense, just a little bit, like a pump. Then take some extreme wet line, a little bit, mix together. Then I'm just gonna go in here, just make sure that's all just flat, all right? Make sure it's all flattened down. All around of this part is a little frizzy. I don't like that, so. Take some of this and just flatten you out. Good shot, all right. So now that we have her all flattened out, that's a good shot too. All right, uh, so this was looking like um, and by no means am I saying you got to flatten your hair out like this. No, your hair is beautiful. I just, you know, want to do it this way uh, this time just to see. And um, yeah, I, I like it from from now, from what I see now. It's not dry yet, but I like it. Um, I think my curls are more defined that way or this way. And I, I really like it. Um, I'm looking in the mirror right now. So please i think it looks pretty um so now i'm about to diffuse it really quickly there is it on yep now as i mentioned in a previous video or maybe i haven't if you don't know this is my hand dandy bow dryer i got this i'm sure from walmart like five or six years ago probably seven years ago when i first started doing content on natural hair been doing this for a minute uh this is just an attachment um diffuser that I got from Sally's years ago. So I'm just going to use this to diffuse my hair. But anyway, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, that is it. This is my hair. It is about like 80% dry. Um, but yeah, I like it. It's flat. It's cute. It smells really good. But that's it. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this video and want to see more content like this, please be sure to subscribe to my channel, like, share, comment. If you have any more tips for a perfect wash and go or what other tips when it comes to styling, let me know in the comments down below. Let's build a community. Thank you again for watching. God bless you. Peace.